MOB recently integrated bat tracking metrics into its StatCast page, making it one of the most exciting and discussed data points in the sport. A few years ago, Hawkeye cameras were installed at every MLB stadium, enabling MLB to track each hitter's bat and provide valuable data to organizations, players, and fans. This spring, the process was refined and made publicly available on Baseball Savant and has the potential to change the way we look at the game forever. MLB now tracks and has clear definitions for a number of new metrics, such as bat speed, fast swings, squared up rate, blast, swing length, and swords, each offering unique insights into the game's best hitters. The way teams and players interpret and respond to this data could revolutionize the sport. So today we decided to discuss the three biggest impacts the new bat tracking data could have on the game. Bat tracking's most immediate impact is how pitchers will use it. While this push forward is great for the hitting side, it will also make it harder on hitters. They will know who swings fast, who doesn't, and what pitch types hitters swing fast or slow at. They will also have better insight or signal of a hitter's approach based on how their bat speed and swing length fluctuates by count. Hitters will be increasingly more exposed if they struggle to square up or swing fast at certain pitch types and locations. This will only be amplified as MLB releases attack angle metrics later this summer, allowing us to visualize the angle at which the bat is moving leading up to contact. Pitchers will likely have a good idea of what pitches play well against certain bat paths and bat speeds and will attack hitters accordingly. It will be interesting to see how much this will impact hitters and how quick they'll be able to adjust. Many of these players have been swinging the same way for their entire careers, so these adjustments likely won't be very quick or easy. As pitchers continually improve and gain advantages from new bat tracking data, hitters will need to counter these advancements with effective training methods. Not only will hitters need to adjust, but the organizations they play for will as well. Many teams will look to quickly leverage bat tracking to avoid being left behind, similar to what pitching went through with training velocity and stuff plus. Some ways teams will look to do this is by prioritizing players with good metrics or introducing bat speed training to both their minor leaguers and big leaguers. Players will not be able to ignore this data. They will be asked about it by the media, fans, and even in contract negotiations. Having the data in front of them and seeing deltas in production between them and other players will spur action. Players in the minor leagues can now compare themselves to major league hitters and adjust their training accordingly. Ultimately, players will have to adjust to maintain production levels. And based on our findings here at Driveline, training bat speed is one of the most surefire ways. Over time, the conversation will no longer be about if bat speed is important, but rather what is the best way to train it and have it transfer to the game. Players who rank highly in bat speed, blasts, and other bat tracking metrics will often be some of the most productive hitters in the league. William Contreras of the Milwaukee Brewers sits at the top of the blast leaderboard. A blast is a swing that squares up the ball and does so with a fast swing or a swing of at least 75 miles per hour. Contreras is elite at producing them. He possesses above average bat speed at 74.8 miles per hour and currently leads the leaderboard with 85 blasts. His 164 WRC Plus indicates his production is among the best in the league because of it. He isn't as well known as stars like Shohei Otani, Aaron Judge, and other names at the top of the leaderboard with them, but his offensive prowess has been highlighted since the advent of bat tracking. Whether at the bottom, middle, or even top, they can see the tiers and the money the guys at the top are making. For professional hitters, deciding where to prioritize training economy could be the difference in millions of dollars. According to a driveline study from Dan O'Coin in 2021, every one mile per hour of bat speed is equal to $6 million on the free agent market. One grade of bat to ball is equal to 3.6 million and one full swing decision grade is equal to about 2.8 million. Many will look at individual players to relate to and understand this newly released data. 
and more specifically, outliers in the main metrics. The common comparison so far has been Luis Arise and Giancarlo Stanton. Stanton is the clear leader in bat speed, while Arise is the outlier in bat to ball skills. When looking at these two players, a very solid conclusion would be that bat speed sets a hitter's ceiling, while bat to ball skills sets a hitter's floor. Arise is commonly looked at as the better hitter winning multiple batting titles. But from a production standpoint with WRC+, Stanton's best season had a 161 WRC+, making him 61% better than the league average hitter that year, while Arise's best season thus far is 32% better. Stanton's career average year of a 136 WRC+, is a better year than Arise's best year, but Stanton was a below league average hitter in 2023. So Stanton will range from being a below average hitter to an MVP, while Rice has been an above average hitter every single year. The issue with developing one skill to an outlier quality and relying on it is that when the skill diminishes, production will plummet. At Driveline, our big three skills for evaluating and training hitters are bat speed, swing decisions, and bat to ball skills. We prioritize these three skills because each has a direct impact on in-game production and reflects what well-rounded hitters do. With more data being publicly available to players, where and how they spend their off-season training will be very important in shaping the outcomes of their careers. The introduction of bat tracking metrics into MLB's StatCast represents a groundbreaking shift in how baseball is played, analyzed, and understood. The game is entering a new era where every single swing can be scrutinized and optimized. These metrics provide invaluable insights into hitting mechanics. Organizations and players that adopt and integrate these metrics into their training and scouting processes will likely gain a significant edge, while those slow to adapt risk falling behind. Over the last few years, all-star hitters such as Shohei Otani, Nolan Arenado, Mookie Betts, and others around the league have already prioritized bat speed training to improve their game. This is a sign that bat speed training was already poised to advance and dry lines should be at the forefront of this revolution.